we are sometimes wanting to solve four equations, four unknowns, three equations, three unknowns. To do that, we hit the matrix button, second x to the negative one, and then we're going to put in edit, and then we're going to edit the first A. We're going to call it matrix A. Now, matrix A is going to be the coefficients of the variables I have W, X, Y, and Z. So you're going to put 1, 1, 2, negative 1 in the first row. But before you do that, it's 4 by 4 just because how many variables are we solving for? 4. So in order to solve, you have to have 4 by 4. So you in, enter 4 and then enter 4. That'll be 4 by 4. And then you put the coefficients. This is an example that I'm using. W plus X plus 2Y minus Z equals 3. You go 1, 1, 2, negative 1. Now, what about the equals 3? That's going to be another matrix, which we'll get to in a little bit. Then do the second row. Negative 2, negative 1, 3, 1. And the third row, 4, negative 2, negative 2, 3, and so on, until you finish that 4 by 4. So then, once you have that 4 by 4, those are the coefficients of all the variables, now you're going to go second x negative 1 matrix. We're going to go to edit again. We're going to put in the B matrix. And the B matrix is a 4 by 1. But here's how you remember it. Would you chant with me, please? Rows. Go ahead. Rows. Good. Then say by columns, by columns. Okay, one more time. Ready? Rows by columns. Now that's going to resonate in your head for a long, long time, at least till Wednesday. So, so we're going to put three negative six, four negative two, and three negative six, four negative two. Are how do we know what to put in the matrix? Well, it's rows, four rows, by one column, and then you've got it, four by one. Then put in three, negative six, four, negative two. If you get those numbers wrong, it won't work. If you went one by four, it would just say error, because it has to be set up that way. Then, once you have those in, you go second, quit, and then we're going to put in the formula, which we're not going to go into here, but it's a inverse times B. The first matrix, I suppose I could write that on the board here, A inverse times B, and we're going to have to call up second matrix, we're going to have to call up matrix A, which is the name column A, and then you go inverse times matrix B, which is second matrix, we go down to B, and then just because I like to do it this way, math rack. And you got it. That'll give you the answers. Those are the values for W, X, Y, and Z that will make these four intersect at one point. And that's how you solve four equations and four unknowns with the calculator.